Hi guys, good to have you all back and good morning. It's very early morning here in the Netherlands. It promises to be an extremely hot day, so I started filming very early. On my desk is a box uh, that I received in the mail. It's not an unboxing, guys. What was inside? My ink cartridges. I have an ink subscription that is very handy to have when you print a lot. Now, I was intrigued by the box. I I sort of liked it. I was like, wow, that's unusual. My uh, ink cartridges were glued here, so there was glue residue. I could not remove it. I just put some medical tape um, on top of it to prevent it from sticking. So uh, I want to recycle it. Uh, this is a, a trash to treasure sort of video. What am I going to do? No, normally, I'd make um, a journal cover from these sort of cardboard boxes, but not with this one. I'm going to do something different. I want to make sort of a storage system to hold my small bits and bobs. Let me tell you how I'm going to do this. Well, the, what the plan is, I have no idea how because never made one. So it's an adventure. Um, and what items, what supplies I think I might need and I'll be using today. Here's the idea and it's a work in progress. Guys, I have some ideas, but I might change it up a little bit. There are going to be eight compartments in here, just sort of small boxes, trays, if you if you like. They are not going to have lids on them. This is going to be the lid. However, if I close it up, you cannot put it on its side anymore or upside down or whatever, because everything that's in there in there will sort of scatter around. So it's going to be a horizontal tray, yeah. Um, as it is now, the flap is underneath, so the closure is here. So we, I need to fix this. But I have an idea, because I want sort of the closure to be here. Of course, I'm going to cover everything, going to make big collage on here, do all sorts of lovely stuff, um, and make small boxes. Now, I need to fix this. There's some glue on here. Um, I could remove it. I already removed it here, but the box is badly damaged. I think I, I want to do some of this masking tape everywhere to sort of try to fix it but let's see so it's going to be uh like a tray a drawer or a what have you for your bits and bobs now for the supplies that i'm using i'm going to use something old and something new not something borrowed nor something blue for the old <coughs> i'm using book pages to decorate well to sort of collage on here i want to make big collage on the box everywhere um, except for the bottom but because i'll probably never ever do this again but by all means if you're going to do something like it do the bottom as well so i'm going to collage everywhere yeah so for this i am using book pages and uh, afterwards i'm going to decorate it now for the for the new for the new i am using well something completely new to me you know me guys i'm always late to the party Simple stories, never heard of it because I'm not a card maker or a scrapbooker. But this collection just screams Seven Plaza because, you know, numbers, ledger, yeah. Uh, tick, it was, there was tickets somewhere, bingo cards, ledger, numbers, this, tickets. Fantastic. Um, I have this pad. This is a 6x8 pad. I also have the um, large 12 by 12s but uh and which are the same uh, same images i love these images it's so so cool so i'm going to use this because we need to make sort of small compartments in here and the pieces of paper that i need for this are for my size five by seven this is six by eight so almost perfect so i'm going to use this to make the boxes with for paper um for decorating uh and there also is a sort of washi tape set with this it, it's fantastic guys i just i really love it i need to use it and and rub-ons yes some of these die cuts which are more vintage uh, vintage, uh, vintage botanicals yeah so probably not going to use these um and the rub-ons now there are three sets of rub-ons well three different styles they were sold out already <laughs> I really love this. So I'm going to use these. Um, I know Marloes is going to order them again. So I'm very curious with what the third one was all about. But these, I'm going to use these. So this I'm going to use for decorating. I need a little bit of reinforcement on this piece here. 
on this piece here and on the closure. So for this, I'm using... I'm so happy I have this, guys. I've been waiting a while for this. 49er Market. Uh, this is fabric tape. Repositionable fabric tra tape assortment. It says essential. It's, pro it's probably not new. It's new to me. It's probably not new, but look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's Ledger. Yeah, well, that screams sort, sort of Tim Holtz memoranda to me. But that's quite all right. Oh, love it. And I think it will go so well. So we have a big roll and then this with the post-it stamps on it. This also with post-it marks and such. And this is actually sort of to mimic the old tape that I want to make with alcohol ink. So, yeah. Yes, I think I need two packs of these because these will be great for any sort of uh, project. Anything else? Um paper related and such i don't think so i don't think so guys now for the tools uh what i am using is paper uh, scissors a ruler and a knife and um glue yeah i'm going to use art glitter glue i i'll probably use uh either mod podge or collage medium for the collaging but i don't know for sure yet I'm into my corner rounder, as you well know. Uh, I have a paper trimmer and a scoreboard. A scoreboard is very handy because I need to make the small boxes. I might do some inking. I probably will. I'll probably do some inking. Um, grungy. Grungy. So, ground espresso. And I might do some stamping and, and stenciling just on the, on the cover. Let's just call it the cover. But I have not figured that out yet. So, uh, yeah, lots, lots of stuff. But what you need is a box and paper. That's what you need. Now, I realize, guys, probably not all of you have this size box. But try to do it with a, small, uh, with a smaller box that you have. Yeah? And, you know, do, do something to it. Okay, I'm going to give you my measurements, guys. But what I'm also going to do is try to explain um, why I'm using the, the measurements that I'm using. Uh, so that you might do this in your own size. Yeah? So you're not limited to only using this size. Okay. Now, this is going to be a big, big job. A very big job. So I'm going to do lots of it um, off camera like decorating it i'm going to show you a bit how i'm going to collage all over it and then i'm going to do the rest off camera why because otherwise it will be three days long this is going to take me uh, a couple of i think a couple of days to finish but let's just see oh i forgot uh i'm going to use some of this medical tape already used it here i might use it somewhere here and there to um i don't know sort of cover up the gluey bits the sticky bits and maybe um, repair some here doing some medic medical stuff i don't know uh and for the closure i don't know i don't know yet but it's going to be exciting i think it's going to be exciting okay guys i'm gonna start let's start i want to attach this um here yeah, so you could just put glue here, here, and here, but I, don't, I wouldn't trust it. So I made sort of a hinge, a hinge thingy, yeah, from a scrap piece of uh, cardstock. So I'm just going to glue this here, just a, a strip, fold it in the middle. It fits right between here, I did measure it. So I'm going to glue this first to this, all the way up to the edge. Yeah, so flush to this edge. There we go. Yep. Using my art clip to glue for this because I want this to be stuck down quickly. Maybe that wasn't smart. <laughs> Just also need this to be flush. I'm just gonna do this. Is it flush? sort of sort of okay and now this needs to be glued here yes in the middle so be very careful probably this wasn't smart using art glitter glue i should have used barely art barely art but hey okay here and here 
And then I'm going this down. Oh, that, that worked out well. But it still does this now. That's why I have this tape. Boom, boom, boom. Where's the beginning? Nobody knows. Just putting some tape there. Yes, on the other side and on the bottom as well. Hold still, hold still. <laughs> Feel like a doctor or well, a nurse at least. And here. Now, this box, it's a little bit unstable now. It's going to be a lot more stable because I'm going to make a compartments in here, right? So then this won't move about anymore. I just wanted something to hold it in place for now. Also decided over here, I'm going to use this tape. This tape. I measured it. It works. I tried it out with a small piece cut off a small piece i put it on the most bumpy thing here and it really works it's it's smooth it's flat so yay so i do not have to do all sorts of tricks to um collage over this now the construction of the box itself now is the way i want it to be now the big job is collage all over it yeah using these papers and I'm gonna go Mod Podge, guys. Mod Podge and a brush. For collaging, I have my vintage antique papers. Some of them, like this one, these are very brittle. So if I were to use these to fold over, uh, these would break. So for, for the folding over part, I'm going to use a book pages that are already sort of more flexible. So I'm gonna sort of try to figure this out. I'm using a lot with these. Um, this came from a post stamp book yeah i'm gonna use a lot of this because there's a lot of black in here and i really like it because it's going to be sort of a black and white grungy type of type of thing i'm gonna not gonna of course glue whole pages on them will this will this sort of bend no that this will not bend this will i'm just going to use parts parts of it yeah now you see me do this before many a times I made I made this box recently. So uh, first I'm going to do the, the edges like so. I'm going to cover this with the tape. Yeah, I mixed some Mod Podge with some water. And I'm just gonna blah 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 put glue on here. I'm using bigger pieces, not uh, smaller pieces for this project. Don't do it this wet, love. You don't need to do it this wet. There we go. And then also glue it on the other side. I might put some, some, some tape on the edges as well. But I do not know for sure. So just in case I am covered, uh, covering it with book pages. Now guys, as you well, well, as you see, already see, yeah, this is going to be a big job. So I'm just going to put some, some of it on and then um, do the rest of it off camera. Otherwise, this video will be way too long. Yeah, my videos are always long. Um, somebody commented the other day, I love your videos, but they're way too long. I'm sorry. But if you, if you look at it, if you look at my list, they are always this long. That's, you know, that's what I do. 
Oh, I stamped on the other side. I make long videos. <laughs> But that's okay because I also know most of you and really enjoy them. So I'm not going to change this. No. Yeah. I think it's going to be lovely. I have no clue. This might be rubbish, but who knows? Who knows? Now, I'm going to let it dry for a bit. And then I'm also going to put Mod Podge all over it again to sort of seal it. Let's use some of this black paper. Uh, also in the middle, uh, I want to use the more brittle papers. Because I have lovely brittle papers. And I hardly ever use them. Where's my ruler, guys? Somewhere. Somewhere. There you go. Dead precedence. <laughs> oh, that's a big piece. Not that big of a piece, lovey. Yeah. Okay. I have a ton of these boxes. Well, not this exact one, but lots of these small boxes that fit through the mailbox. Yeah, some of which... Um, I used to send out stuff, but <laughs> most of them lately is with stuff that I ordered and received. So if this works out, I think you can use those as well to make these pretty boxes with. And then, then I can stack them on top of each other. Well, that's sort of the idea. I'm hoping this will work. Pasta. Okay, pasta. And my ceiling frame. Sorry guys, this is a big box. And my desk is not that big. So, this is the plan. I'm going to first glue all the edges. What is this? And also, go away. Gonna use all the, uh, I'm going to do all the edges first. Yes, and then the middle. What am I not collaging? I'm not collaging here. I'm not collaging here. Nor this. What are you collaging? Well, I'm collaging the flap. Is that it? Yes, I'm going to collaging the flap here. Somewhere. But not these, because I'm going to put tape on here. Yeah? And not here, because there's going to be lovely stuff here. So, let me collage this very quickly for you guys. Yes? It's going to take a second for you. Like half an hour for me. And I'll be back. I love how this turned out. It's really, really cute. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Now, I did not put any paper here. Because this is going to be sort of a flappy. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of movement in here. The paper will not like it. So, I did not put paper, any paper here or here. If this was going to be straight and not movable, put paper on. But, you know, you're going to move it. You're going to move this. So, yeah, on all the moving parts, I did not put any of the, of the paper. So, there, that's where I am going to put this. Now, this is not big enough to flap all the way over. But I have more tape. <laughs> I have more tape. Yeah. Let's see how I'm going to do it. First, I'm going to cut a piece off. Let's be smart about this, love. Yes. How, how tall is this? Let's just do some measuring. Uh, oh, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say eight. I'm going to take off eight inches. I have other tapes from 49 and Market that are way more sticky than this. I think there's a bit of difference between, uh, between them. It is sticky, it is, uh, but I will need more glue. Uh, I'm not going to take out my Mod Podge. For this, I am just going to take out art. I'm gluing a little bit over this edge. Yes, and then on this one, over here. 
let's see I made it a little bit longer on purpose open this is straight now before I bend this over I'm going to let it dry for just a sec okay let's see what we did here am I just gonna flip this is this going to be okay not really I need to make sort of a snippy here where this sort of hinge is yeah I'm just gonna make a snippy here and here Because I'm thinking because there's going to be movement in it yes that was I think smart I think it was smart but you know I could be mistaken I'm gonna put a bit more art on here um, then, then you need another snippy where here make another snippy here I'm gonna fold this up over there another snippy here pull this up over here yeah I should have mitered the corners but that's okay lovies and then this here this here let's see how we, how we can fix it okay flipped it over what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna mitre it now after the fact but I think it's going to work yeah putting down a little bit more glue oh yeah that that'll work fine that'll work fine hoping it will glue onto itself probably will probably will Will this hold? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. See? Yeah. Need another strippy here. And for this, I'm just going to use um, another one of these. Probably this one. Yeah. Let's just see. We don't need eight inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a bit. Was that enough? Yes, it is. Extra glue here. In the fold, because this is a movable part, right? So we need to put a little bit of extra focus on this. I knew I would love this tape. I just knew it. Yes, it does. It works, guys. It works. Perfect. I'm already sort of in love with the box. Yeah. Uh, let me show you guys what I did. I put the tape all around here. Love this tape. <laughs> and then all around here. Yeah. Um, and I, I left a little bit. Uh, that, that's okay. The compartments are going to go in here. So you won't see this. You won't see this, this or this. Yeah. So I'm not going to cover this. And then over here in the middle on the sort of, you know, movable parts. Yeah. And on the outside. Of course. So all the edges, except for this one. I'm not going to put any of the tape here. I don't think so. I don't think so, guys. I might, but I don't think so. So this I covered with the, the vintage or antique papers. This I covered with vintage antique papers. And the rest of it I covered with the tape. The tape is, um, yes, it is, re what, what does it say? Removable, repositionable. Yes, very easily. Yeah, because, you know, I have put this on pieces many, many a time. So it does need extra glue. It does. It sort of acts like fabric. What I did with the... The pieces that I made here. I just treated it as if it was fabric. So 
yeah, with glue. And I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Okay, now for the compartments, guys, I'm going to give you some measurements. We're going to make small little boxes. I will try to explain um, how I came up with the measurements. I've measured the inside. The inside, yes, not the outside, guys, the inside. The inside is six inches, six inches. I'm going to divide it in two, so three inches, yeah? And then this whole piece is actually um, 12 inches. A little bit longer than 12 inches, but I'm going to keep on the 12 inches uh, measurements. So, I want to have four boxes on here that are three by three. Yeah? If you have a bigger box, smaller box, divide the inside. Divide the inside and just, you know, make it fit. So, I want to make one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, eight boxes. Eight? Yes, eight boxes from three by three. That'll fit in here. Yeah. If your box or something you're working with is a different size, do it with your sizes. Or maybe you just want two boxes in here or just want four boxes in here. I'm going to do eight. I'm going to do eight. Why not? Okay. So my boxes are going to be three by three inches. But I also need to make them into a box. So that's why I need a larger piece of paper. I picked out... Eight pages, eight pieces of paper. I just, I just love this paper so, so much. Um, this is what you're gonna see most, yes. But you're also gonna see the. These are double sided, and this you're gonna see. This piece and this piece you're gonna see. That's the double sided piece. So you're gonna see both of the pieces. Now, I'm going to explain to you how I came up with five by seven. So, hoping, hoping you pay attention. This is my prototype box, three by three. Now, it has these sides here that are one inch tall. I made them one inch tall because that's uh, sort of a good size to put in here. Yeah, because this is almost one inch. Can you see? Yeah, I did not make them all the way to the top, just a little bit uh, shorter. So, we need one inch here, three inches, one inch here. One plus three is four, plus one is five. So... 5 inches wide. Of course, these are the same height. So an inch here and an inch here. But we need to construct the box. And for this, we need to flip this over. Can you see? I flipped this over. And that's another inch. So actually, this is 2 inches of paper. So 2 inches of paper, 3 inches of paper is 5. And then again, 2 makes 7. I'm hoping this makes sense. Yes? So just your size that you want to have and then add the sides to it yeah I'm, I'm i don't know if i can make it any clearer <laughs> clearer than this so i need to have pieces of paper that are five by seven now these are six by eight i'm going to cut them to size you also can use a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper i've measured it you can actually have Four boxes out of one piece. So that is a really good deal. However, it's going to be a little bit tricky cutting them. You cannot just cut them sort of in the middle. Because then you have the six by sixes. And we need five by sevens. So we can get, get four out of these. But we're going to be left with a small square of probably a two by two inch. But I'm going to show you later. I'm going to cut these out first. Yes, five by seven. And then I'm going to place them on the scrapbook paper to show you how you must cut them. I have all my eight pieces cut. I took out four. I'm sorry, guys. I zoomed you out a little bit because I really want to show you the whole piece of the 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook paper. I'm going to sort of do a puzzle. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you start like this or start like this. Either or. So we have a piece here. Five, seven. Then don't do this. Don't cut here. Seven, five. Seven and five is 12. Yeah, we're going to put this here. Then we are left here with seven, so cut here, and then this is seven with by five. So as you can tell, yeah, you can have four pieces and left with a little square that is most likely two by two, two by two. Now this is a little bit of difficult cutting, yeah. You don't just cut it in half. You need to sort of mark it until here and then mark it until there. So it's going to be some precise cutting. I would use my knife and a ruler uh, for this. Yeah. So either two pieces of scrapbook paper. 
or eight pieces of the other paper. Perfect. I have eight. We're going to do some scoring. It's going to be rather easy, guys. I'm going to walk you through it. I've taken out my box again to sort of show you. Yeah? Five. That is this. What do we need? One inch here. Three inches here. One inch here. Well, let's do this. One inch here. Yes. Three inches. One plus three is four. Yeah. And we're left with one inch here. So one, three, one. Yeah. That's that's this. Now these are the ones that we're going to fold over. So I'm going to put it like so. Yeah. Put it like so. Okay. Flip it over. One and one. So one. Another one. It's two. Yes. You can add three, which will make five. But what you can also do, if you have sort of an uneven number, just flip the whole page, do it again. So at five and then at six. Very hard to see in this page. Oh, I'm going to flip it over. You, you can see. One, 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 one. And just on this side, just one. Yeah? Okay, decide now what you want to have on the inside. Of course, I want to have this one on the inside. I need to do eight of them, guys. I'm going to do another one for sure. But I just want to want to show you. I'm going to fold them first. I'm going to fold this one. And then the bottom one. I'm leaving this fold for now, guys. So this fold I'm leaving. Yeah. And then this one. I need to feel where it is. Okay, I'm flipping it over again because this side is way easier for me <laughs> to show where I want to cut. Yeah? Two, two, one, one. Take out your scissors. Take out your scissors. Now, this is tricky. We need to cut here in the lengthwise. Yes, don't cut like this. Cut like this. We need to make a snippy here, here, here and here. The two inches. Not up until here, up until here. That's why I sort of fold it here first. Yep. Don't snip any further than the fold. Very important. Yeah, here. Don't snip it off. We need it. We need it. Then another one here. I am uh, cutting on the inside of the score. Yes, on the inside. You could also do this with a ruler and a knife. That probably, for me, that'll work way better. But I'm just taking out my scissors. There you go. Now, to make it a little bit easier for the folding in and the gluing, you need to take off a little strippy. We're going to mitre it, but just the tiniest bit. For this, I am going to take out my ruler, guys. That is way, way um, easier for me than with my scissors. But do it with your scissors by all means. I am going to mitre this little piece here. Yeah? I want to take off a sliver on the inside and a sliver on the outside. Just a tiny bit. See? I'm taking off this. Barely nothing. Also on the inside, that is a little bit trickier, I must say. Please let go. Be very careful, guys. Um, if you cut it too far, you will see that in the box. And we don't want this. Yeah. So, you can see I've taken out a little piece here. And I mitered it there. I'm going to do it on one more. Yeah. 
I need to flip it because I cannot reach it all the way from the top. And then also yeah, from the inside. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do all of them guys, I'm sorry. I'm gonna show you why we need to fold it in and fold it over and sometimes it just gets in the way. So if I take off just a sliver, just a tiny bit, well that was way crooked. I'll take out your scissors, I'm gonna do this with scissors guys. For me this is actually the trickiest part, <laughs> believe it or not. But it will save on a lot of trouble uh, while folding it. Yes. So we have a couple of flappies. Three flappies here, three flappies here. And we have this. Okay. Um, I need to fold, make the fold here and here. You don't need to fold these flappies, guys. Just this one. So I'm going to fold this one in. Because this is going to be the inside. Yes. And here. Yeah? Make any sense? Okay. Fold these in for now. And then fold it up. See? The box is taking shape. Yeah? Score these really, really well, guys. Otherwise, they will be sort of rounded. So make sure this is really, really flat. Okay. Now, before I glue this over decide do you want to have uh i made rounded corners in here not necessary at all but i just like the effect and i inked them so that's what i'm gonna do but not necessary guys this is just a me thing that's a me problem not a you problem. <laughs> not a you problem i just want to have these rounded and inked Yes, we were doing ground espresso. We are doing a ground espresso. Don't even like coffee. Do like ground espresso though. For inking. For now I'm just inking this part. This is going to be glued down so we cannot reach it. See? So this here on the inside. The outside. We can ink. If you want to have this inked, do that as well. I have decided not to. Are you sure? Yes, I've decided not to. Yeah, I'm going to have them as it is. Okay, ink them. Taking out my glue. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do another one. Yes? Okay. These overlap. And that is a good thing. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. Now, make sure if you glue them down that these are straight up. Guys, straight up. Not too far folded in, not too far folded back. Just straight up. Yes, and glue them together. Also on the other side. Now I have a couple of videos where I make these boxes. Some of them even with sort of lids on them. Straight up. There you go. Now we need to fold these over and in. Come on, you can do it, love. Yes, over and in. This side worked better. That's because I glued these together a little bit too, too far. Yeah? So there's less room here. So I just made some room. I made some room. Yeah? Now, if we weren't doing the sort of mitering, you would have way more problems folding this over, believe me. Well, I would. That's, a, you know, again, a me thing. Probably not a you thing. Holding this in. 
also on the other side folding it in et voila we made a boxy eight more yeah no seven more hello editing margaret here i'm sorry guys i had to cut the piece out where i did another one because this video is three hours long <laughs> no it's not but it, it was way too long so i had to cut it out if you want to see how i make it just you know go back to the chapter again so i'm so sorry guys so i'm not making another one on camera now enjoy the rest of the video well all my little boxes are done they're already cute yes love them love them now i'm going to glue them in guys in the big box in the big box well it's not a really big box yes but i'm going to do it in a particular order now um the box has four sides two of the sides are a little bit thicker because that's where we flipped it over yeah and two of the sides are thinner because it's just one layer so what i really want to do is doesn't really matter where i start just put one in the corner but the next one i'm gonna put next to it i want to um put the the thicker layer so the double layer against the single layer yeah so single layer double layer layer also here there's a, a double layer here so i'm gonna put a single layer against this i think that works best for the structure not really sure why or how but and also it looks it looks better it looks better yeah so that's the order that i'm gonna do i'm just gonna glue them in now i i, I believe you could use maybe even glue stick for this I'm going to glue it on the bottom. I'm just going to do this. Bring some glue on the bottom. There you go. Yes, lots of glue. Am I doing... Um, oh, I'm putting a bit of glue here. And here on these two sides. Yeah. Push them in. I'm starting in this corner because this is... Uh, flat yes this here is open it will leave a little bit now what was i doing this one is gonna go next to it right yeah was that one i don't even know well let's have this one here with the bingo cards see this is the single side this is the double side yeah again just putting in some glue stick i'm even putting some glue here gluing here here and here now hopefully it'll fit. It will fit. I already sort of tried it, guys. It will fit. Yes. So, sort of trying to push them together here. Here, here, and here. Okay, next one. Uh, Single-sided, so I need double-sided. Yeah. Some glue there. Here. And here. There we go. Push it against one another. Also very curious why this is like the tiniest bit taller than the other one. That's quite all right. I don't know why. This one goes here. Single sided, double sided. So, yep. Lots of glue. We need glue here. Here. And here. This one is a bit trickier. Yes. This one is higher than the rest. For some reason. For some reason. I don't know. Okay. And so on. And so on. So I'm going to glue all of these in. It works. And it looks awesome. It just looks awesome. Right? Yeah. It's almost a shame to put stuff in. But I'm going to put stuff in. Probably labels, poster stamps and, you know, what have you. Okay. So, um, before I do the decorating, I think I'm going to sort of focus on the closure, which is over here. Yeah. I think I want to use some Velcro dots to keep it even more closed. And then for a handle... I'm sorry, guys. It's a very big box. I need to put a handle on here. I have three options. I have... A real sort of drawer handle thing. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah. Uh, I have this one. It's actually sort of a brad. And then this is on here with uh, well, a ring thingy. Or this one. Again with a ring. And it's sort of, I don't know, is that like a clover leaf or something? I think I'm going to do this one. I think this one will look 
the nicest. Yeah? Like so. I'm gonna put it flat. So I will attach these with brads. Yes. There they are. Let's pick some out. So I need to punch some holes. Now it will show up on the other side, but that's all right because I was thinking um, to put like a sort of a label here or something to cover it up. So I think it will be fine. Now, eyeballing the middle. Is this the middle? Sure it is. Sure it is. My, po my pokey tool. One here. One here. One here. One here. So, four of them. Need to be a little bit bigger because the legs of the brats need to go through. And there. Now, let's see if I have some brats that will fit. I have the very, very tiny ones, so I'm, I'm sure that those will fit. But I... I think I might want to have the slightly bigger ones. Slightly bigger ones? Well, you would do this, but they don't fit. How about these? Are these different? Oh, the birds again. Oh, these, these fit. They are completely different though. I think I'm gonna go for these. Will these be big enough to hold everything? What do you guys think? I have these ones that have a different color or the very tiny ones. Oh no, I need to go with the bigger ones because they need to go through sort of a heavy layer. And let's see, let's pick out four that will actually fit. <laughs> because the legs need to be closer. Together. Yes, and the last one. Oh my gosh, the birds, they're so, so loud. Yeah? Okay, four. Gonna start with one. Let's do the one on the top. Pushing it through, flipping it over. If I can turn this. And then fastening it. Yes. Ooh. Let's find another hole. Oh yeah, that works really, really well. Can we do all of them simultaneously? We don't know. Have they been trained to do stuff simultaneously? Flipping it over. There we go, guys. Yeah. I think this is going to be awesome. Yes. I'll turn these. And yes. Look at that. Oh, that's just so cute. I've had these. I have a couple of those. I've had them for a while. Uh, and I never knew what I would use them for. Well, for this. That is really, really cool. Love it. Now, um, I want to do some decorating. Yes, here. I want to do some decorating here. And I need to put something over it. Gonna think about it. First, let's do some lovely decorating. I'm going to use the Robons. Now, the Robons are from uh, Simple Stories. It's typeset Robons. Now, you might recognize this because I did. I'm... I'm just saying guys, um, I have this, it says faded type. I have this, it's ev it even says typeset, which is probably like a word for it. I don't know about you guys, but um, this is exactly the same. And this is exactly the same. Uh, this one, yeah. I have another one, I have this one. And then you have, um, flip it, these, yeah. And, and so, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that is allowed or I don't know. So I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm going to put, I'm going to cut stuff out guys. And I'm going to put on the rub-ons. Now, uh, 
watching me put on Robbons is very exciting. Of course it is. But I am going to do that off camera. I am, however, sort of uh, positioning it so that you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these here. And then the big numbers here. They smell lovely. <laughs> they do smell lovely. Yeah. And I uh, have some... Not more numbers. This one here. And have this one there. No. Also, and that's what um, I'm first I'm gonna do this, yeah. I have the the tapes that are really lovely. I am not going to use the butterflies. And this is florals. I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use the one that has the typeset and advertisement and whatever on it. So I'm going to use these three. But first, guys, I'm going to rub these on over here. These are going to go like so. This over here and this over here. Right? Yeah. Already looks lovely. Well, that went smoothly. Again, these have like this very nice scent to them. <laughs> I don't know what it is with rub-ons. Most of them, they just smell real nice. So um, I also did the inside, guys. But this one here, this one, and this one. Yeah. And I'm going to decorate it a little bit further with some of the some of the tapes. Yeah, let's just find out how these work. Are they sticky? Do they need more glue? We don't know. Yes, I'm ripping them with my teeth. teeth. Guys. Don't worry about it. I got some questions like, oh, that's not hygienic. Come on, loves. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not a germaphobe or, you know, it'll be fine. I have not died yet or gotten sick or, or what have you. I'm just going to put some of the tapes here and there. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Where the sort of lines are. I do want the ends to be ripped. Oh, that's a lovely one. That's a lovely one. I love that one. Put a bit here as well. Yeah. Some here, I just it over this tape. Some more of this black, and the big black one. And there we go. Just some small pieces. Yeah, I know. I see. I see it. I see it, guys. I see it. Just like so, just just like so. Just a little piece. Fantastic. Does it need any stamping? I think so. I think I want to grunge it up. Maybe I'm going to... Um, very original, I know. Maybe I'm going to take out my uh, coffee stain sort of set. Somewhere? Does it need somewhere? Oh, let's put it there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's okay. But let's do the inside first. Uh, the tape is okay. I like the tape. Yes. Nice. Sticky. I don't know how much exactly is on here. I like the inside of the of the rolls. Yeah. It looks about 5 meters. I think it's going to be 5 meters or something. Um, I'm putting this here. Yes. A bit of the black. On the top there. Yes. Small one here. What was that? I don't know. Some stuff. Stuff, that stuff. Okay, oh, that looks cool. A little bit more over here. Let's 
some there and then we have some of these left yeah i like it yeah i think this is it i decorated it a little bit more guys i put on some um poster stamps the sort of black gray ones and some uh, small ephemera pieces this is from one of my freebies and this is probably from um michelle junk journal studio uh, and also on the inside yeah this big one because there was a big blank spot here and uh, doesn't he look like sheldon i think he does and some more poster stamp and of course all the lovely tape now um i put this one here over the legs of the brats yeah and i put on the velcro dots i it needed one in the middle uh, but i flipped this one over so the woolly bit wasn't on the chicken but the sort of the clear the see-through one yeah and then i close it up with the with the velcro dots like so love it love it guys this took me about a day and a half to make <laughs> to make so don't think you can do it in just one day if you're gonna do this one so i really enjoyed it hope you liked it guys uh i am linking below of course all the lovely stuff from simple stories um everything is available of course at doing if you are within the eu yeah if not i think simple stories is available worldwide but these items are linked below the robins are going very fast but i've also uh spoken to Marluce about it she's going to um order them again because i need some more of these guys i'll be back again tomorrow with another video hopefully not as long as this one i have no clue what i'm doing but it's going to be a fun one i am really hoping to see you there until then bye guys